A few weeks ago, it was the Amazon Accelerate 2021 conference. And if you weren't there, the question is why? What could you possibly be doing that's not as fun as attending an online virtual conference full of Amazon sellers? Well, whatever your answer is, fortunately for you guys, I'm here to summarize the most exciting piece of news that came out of the conference that you probably missed, which was that Amazon are launching a new tool that's going to help sellers with their product research. That's right, you heard me correctly. Amazon are launching what they're calling a product opportunity explorer. And that is going to provide data to understand customers' interests in order for us to find products to sell. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that this is an absolute game changer because we're going to be provided with data at no charge, straight from the horse's mouth, and that data is going to help us to find gaps in the market when looking for products to sell on Amazon. How cool is that? Now, the question that I'm thinking is, will this tool be a complete replacement for the likes of Helium 10, AMZ Scout, Jungle Scout, etc., or is it just going to be supplementary? The tool itself is currently in beta only, and that's to sellers in the US and Germany, and it's not going to be released more widely until 2022. Now, whilst that is the case, and I don't have direct access to this tool yet, Amazon does have a help page on the tool, and there are various people out there with beta access that have written online about what you can and can't do. So let's take a closer look at what exactly is being said about Amazon's Opportunity Explorer. So here is Amazon's page on this brand new tool and they describe it as being there to allow you to understand Amazon customer search and purchasing behavior, to evaluate if there is unmet customer demand and an opportunity for you to meet that demand through new products. If we scroll down the page, it shows us the definition of the data that's going to be provided. And from what I can see, this information is actually quite substantial. We've got search terms, search volume, which is going to be awesome to have, units sold, and average price amongst a ton of others. And when you look at this list, it doesn't actually seem as though there's much missing information in order to help us with our product research. So. I think this is actually a pretty exciting development in the Amazon FBA world. But this is an Amazon help page and the description of the tool might actually differ from the reality of it. So I looked for information from those that had beta access and here is what I found. When you get access to the tool, you'll have the ability to start browsing for all the different opportunities there are by category. And that's actually kind of similar to Helium 10's black box tool. Now, just like with Helium 10, you can also get information on search volumes. However, with the search volumes provided by Amazon in this new tool, you're not going to be provided with specific data on actual keywords that customers are using. Instead, from what I've read, you're going to be provided with search volumes across the entire niche that you're looking at, which isn't actually as helpful as when you're being given specific keyword volumes, which is what you'd get if you were using uh, Helium 10, for example. That said, Amazon's data is going to be 100% correct. It's not based on estimates like with Helium 10. So search volume data across niches is still going to be quite helpful when trying to understand demand if you have 100% correct figures. Now, in addition to search volume, just like the Amazon help page said, we're also provided with total units sold as well as growth trends. But just like with Amazon's search volume data, this information is across the entire niche rather than on a product by product or seller by seller basis. Now, I don't think that's too bad because the reality is that Amazon probably aren't ever going to share that amount of data because it's a breach of confidentiality. We certainly wouldn't want our sales information being shared with potential competitors. So I think that's okay. And I actually think knowing the general sales in a specific niche 
is still helpful nonetheless. Digging deeper into what people said about this tool and what it can actually do, the most helpful metric that I read about is something called the search conversion rate. And that effectively allows you to see what people are searching for on Amazon and whether they are finding what they're searching for and whether they're buying it. So I think that this is going to be the main feature that people use this tool for because it will allow you to see what customers are searching for and whether they're finding it, finding what they're looking for. And if they're not, then you know that there's an opportunity because there's search demand, but the product isn't available on Amazon yet. Now, of course, there are way more metrics and features of this product opportunity tool that I haven't run through in this video. But what I will do is put a full summary of the tool that was written up by Helium 10 in the description. And speaking of Helium 10, do I think that the Product Opportunity Explorer is going to put them out of business? Well, having read about it, probably not. Helium 10 still provides a huge amount of specific data that Amazon probably won't ever want to reveal because it's about individual sellers. So I think that this tool, this Product Opportunity Explorer, it's going to be supplementary to Helium 10 rather than replacing it entirely. It will no doubt make the process of finding a product to sell a little easier than before. But if you're serious about finding a killer product to sell with Amazon FBA and you want to increase your chances of success as much as possible, then I think Helium 10 is still going to be essential to have. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and you're excited about this tool. As soon as I do get access to it, I'll be posting a full walkthrough on my channel. So please remember to subscribe if you're not already, so you don't miss out on that. I'll see you next time.